Thank you for tuning in in this episode of Channel Surfing. We're down here at the 2023 Boat Show, and we're going to do a quick walkthrough of the RT31. And it happens to be in my favorite color, light gray. Double bonus there. Look so, how big that boat is to you. Uh, it is a big <laughs> boat. It's very tall, and especially with the command bridge. All right, let's get going. Close your eyes, hear the voice within. Hi over there! <laughs> Not only does it have a 10 foot beam, it has these cool pop out seats that make the boat even wider when you have guests and stuff in the back. I really like that a lot. lot and by pop out seats, we mean, let's see if I can show you over here. This is what I mean by pop out seats. So there it's closed. Go ahead and open that up, Martin. And see how that pops out the side of the boat? That's pretty cool. <laughs> And it's an inboard diesel, uh, so obviously this whole space is the entry compartment where the your diesel inboard is. It's got the nice, nice way to launch and retrieve the dinghy, obviously because it's the inboard. Um, it's not challenging like the outboards have for a yeah. dinghy. Um, and because you have the 10 foot beam and the pop out seats, you have, I, I just can't begin to show you how much, there's so much space. You could get plenty of people, two people, two people, two people. One person. <laughs> right. and, and if you want to have a party upstairs, you can have a party upstairs. Yeah. The command bridge is optional, right? They do make 31s in a sedan without the command bridge, but uh, um, a lot of folks... Do you want to show the command bridge? Yeah. Then up top, you got your helm station, chart plotter, um, autopilot controls, your Volvo Pinto controls, radio, <clears throat> balance stern thrusters, controls all up here. You can operate the whole boat from up here. That way you have easy uh, visibility all around the boat. Lots of space up here. The other thing the command bridge does is nice is a table that goes right here. And it's another it's another area to entertain folks. If you have a lot of guests on the boat. So, the so R31 you actually could have, have a, a tier level party. Yeah. Party up here. Party down there. <laughs> and it's got solar panel on the back. Easy to turn it, or easy to double that up, um, get more uh, more wattage out of it. It's a good spot to have the solar panel, not a lot of shading and stuff. And similar to the RT29, you can hit the cockpit helm station as well. So when you're crab pot, when you're pulling crab pots and stuff, you can drive the boat from back here also. <clears throat> no real electronics back here other than just engine controls and yeah. steering. So one of the other cool things that I really like on the RT31 out here in the cockpit is it's, it's, it's a hard top cover. Um, instead of a bimini that you know, will catch rainwater and stuff. Uh, but it also has porch lights. <laughs> we call them porch lights. <laughs> so you get a lot more lighting um, yeah. out here on this. So also, if you had this enclosed, imagine what a great backyard porch this would be, right? It doesn't matter what weather, you could put a little portable little teeny heater in here and stay nice and cozy. Yeah. The full blown enclosure, it adds a lot of space mm -hmm. to the boat that's like, comfortable to hang like out. Like Salty Bliss has. Right, yeah. I'm, really envious of their uh, enclosure <laughs> on their R31. So let's check out inside the cabin. So awesome stateroom on the R231. Hands down, I'm envious. I would love to have this. Television's right there, radio's right there. Here, let me come down here real quick. Oh yeah, oh and it's down low, huh? So you have the TV. Yep, more storage space oh, in I the like outboards. Oh, I like that. You have a, like a little bar to help yeah. put things in. A little lift to store stuff. Look at that. Now that I'm envious of. It's way easier storage. And you have a table over here. No there. problem for the tall guys on this boat. Yeah. Well, if you're super tall, you just hang out the end. Mm -hmm. Put a stool. <laughs> oh... Now this has one of those fancy toilets, electric, to is it electric toilets? Yeah. Or oh, a towel rack. Check that out. Hook it up. That's one. Yeah. So you would hook them because it's not the same, uh, like a wet dry, because you have your electric toilet. So they shield them. And you have another one that would go right, should go right there. So a lot of people say that's cumbersome and a pain in the butt, and then your shower curtain just goes over your, over right, your doorway. Over your doorway. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but plenty of room to shower and stuff. And here and again, the uh, RT31's got an 11 gallon hot water tank that gets heated from engine heat or when you're on shore power. Mm -hmm. right, so uh, getting hot water is pretty easy on an RT31. So sit in the helm seat on the RT31, um, very similar to the other Ranger tugs. You've got your Volvo engine controls, you've got your Garmin autopilot, um, windlass, your horn, your running lights, your, your, you know, your VHF radio. It's got the bigger um, screen. Instead of having two screens, it's just got one really large screen. Um, <clears throat> it's actually bigger than what the RT27 has. But uh, easy visibility. Um, I like the four windshield wipers that it has. You know, and then here and again, that's a that's a pro and con thing because the round glass that the R27 has is really nice, but the having but the windshield wipers um, don't really do much on the RT27. But here, having four windshield wipers would be a huge advantage. Yeah. <clears throat> so, also has a second television. Oh, yeah. So there's one down in the stateroom, and then there's a TV that's Could hidden you out of the way. Use that as a second part char plot charter. Uh, I think you can display the chart plotter up on the TV. The Fusion radio is right here. It's right behind the rod on the helm for it. I like that. That's really cool. Yeah, and then you would close your door down here and you'd totally close off the That's room. That's an absolute stateroom. I would yeah. absolutely love that. Not available on the 27. If you have a little desk, you can do work, or I guess you could just sit mm -hmm. there with your coffee while you're going down the road. So this one is a little bit of a transformer for the seat here. You would It just flops just like that. So if you put it down real quick, Martin, just like that. See how that's stacked like that? It's basically your two, two cushions, two ways of sitting. So your top one, if you open that up, Martin, there's your top if you want to face out. And if you close that up, We'll flip it over and now you can sit. And the dining area, right, I mean, it, uh, it seats five. So you can easily yeah. get three people across there and two across here. Yeah. It's a much bigger dining area. Mm -hmm. I like that too. <clears throat> Great place to play cribbage. <laughs> Look, maybe you salty list. <laughs> <laughs> Got the cabin refrigerator, right? Uh, you do have the wine. There's a wine there. chiller as well. And it's got a microwave also. So on these, in this one you have cupboards, but they slide out to a couple drawers, which makes it really nice. I kind of wish my drawers were like this, or my, my cupboards were like that. <laughs> and then you have just a shelf here and a shelf down below. And this looks like two more shelves. And then you have same oven. You have double sinks, two sinks. And then you have just a cupboard. I think they could just put one little slide yeah, out drawer let's there. Pull out the RT27 yeah. The, the pull out drawer under the stove. I love the porthole. Oh, the too. porthole opens. That's really kind of cool, actually. Yeah, that's really nautical. I just don't do that. You got a little bit of storage for some stuff right underneath here inside the cabin. Two adults could sleep down there. It's plenty big. Yeah. This is what it looks like with me in it. And so, yeah. you can hang some clothes here. You can easily sleep two people down mm -hmm. here. Yeah, nice little light there. And then, what's here? <laughs> this I'm not actually excited about. Yeah. So, 31 has a second second head. And I think the idea is if you have guests there, they don't have to come down into your stateroom because you have your stateroom all closed up. They have a toilet they can right. use. I think that's the idea of it. Most people that we know with 31s actually just stack stuff on it. <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to sleep down here with my head to the toilet. Yeah. You know, if there was a door or something, would be different. But, uh, yeah. But plenty big. And it does actually close up, so you could close that top for your guests to have privacy, and then they have this that they could close as a door. Oh, it's see-through. Woohoo! And then the top lowers down as well. And then all of your... All your switches and stuff are right there. 
Mayor Sheryl Bosto. Talk about storage space. Plenty of storage here on the starboard lazarette. And equal amount of storage on the port lazarette. Oh. Ah, I get it. I thought it was two different ones, two different slots. And there is your non-storage area. <laughs> You might be able to put something way back here. Look, I think there's a cooler spot, something. <laughs> That's the engine compartment on the RG31. Yep. Well, with dented D4, 320 horse, inboard diesel. Okay. This is what I mean, like why I really prefer the outboards. I just don't like working upside down anymore. I've done, I've done enough work upside down on my head, blindfolded. Pretty tight corners. I wanted something easy to work on with the outboard, but uh, a lot to be said for these diesels, though. They're reliable. Um, they have a handy dandy button. <laughs> Five minutes later. <laughs> and since the boat's out of the water, it's easy to take a look. So there you got the four bladed prop, you got the uh, rudder, stern thruster, diver's dream anode, uh, Lenco electric trim tabs. And then your underwater lights on the tabs. Yep. And then obviously the fantastic way to haul a dinghy around on a boat. If the dinghy is really important to you, this is the way to go. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button and consider subscribing. It really helps us out a lot. And uh, um, if you like this video and want to watch another, click here. If you enjoyed watching this video, click the screen to watch another.